welcome to statics classes by civil thinking and this is our first class on statics or engineering mechanics now if you are a beginner in statics or engineering mechanics i recommend you watching my video lectures one by one just go in my playlists go in the statics playlist and play my video lectures tutorials one by one this way you will develop a strong understanding so now let's begin now in our first class we will talk about force as you can see the title of this topic today's class is force as a vector now what's a vector first of all what's a vector you know vector is something which have a direction okay and it have a magnitude right and you know we represent a vector with the help of some arrows okay we call this as the head okay we call this thing as the tail of the vector right this is a vector all this arrow it is a vector now the direction of this head will tell you what is the direction of this vector now if I draw a vector like this okay it means it is pointing in this direction okay this direction okay now this is the head and this is the tail now if I draw a vector like this it means it is an upward vector okay if I draw an arrow like this it means it's a downwards now I think I'm sure you know these things uh, I'm saying these things because it's our first introductory class anyways Now, you know what's a vector, okay? It is something which have a direction and it have a magnitude, okay? Now, what is force? Now, as you can see here, force is an action of one body on another body that tries to change the motion of another body. What does it mean? Now, if there are two bodies, okay? Let me say, this is a body one. This is body one, okay? now uh, let me say this is body 2 this is body 2 if we assume that it is in real life okay real life means there is a gravity right now because of this gravity this body the weight of this body will act and it will act on body 2 right like this now when the body one exerts the force on this body two okay this body two will move downwards right it will move downwards like this right now force is an action of one body on another body that tries to change the motion of another body now for example you have a box here let me say this is a box okay it is a box okay now you hit the box with a stone okay or with a ball okay this is a ball now you hit it you hit this box with this what is going to happen now this box will move right it will move this thing will move it will move like this why because this ball exerted a force on it now it is an action now the ball did something okay it did some action on it right it did something to the box this is box it did something some action it did some action on the box okay why and what happened due to this action the position of the box changed right it moved okay now this action it is called as force okay what we say we say the ball has exerted a force on this box because of this force this box has changed the position okay that's why we say force is an action okay some action of one body this is body one one body on another body okay now let me assume here is a ball okay which is moving like this okay it is moving like this 
okay now assume here is another body okay now you move this now remember this ball is moving like this okay it is moving like this now you exert now you throw this ball and hit it okay initially this box uh, this body wanted to move like this right it means it wanted to move in this direction in this direction now when you hit it with this box right maybe it will move like this maybe it will move like this okay so it has changed the this action this force this box has exerted a force on this okay this action has caused what it changed the motion of this body initially it wanted to move like this now maybe it will move like this okay for example so what happened here the motion of this body has changed right why did it happen why did it happen it happened because of this ball it did some action on it which changed the position or the motion of this body okay and this action of this body which did everything to this ball this action we call it as force okay okay now let's move on now why we have now we have another question why force is a vector quantity okay now first of all force is a vector quantity okay force is a vector quantity okay force is a vector quantity now the question is why you know vector is something which have a location okay exact location and direction where did it happen and how much it happened okay see the force have two things if i write it here force have two things where and how much okay okay how much it happened now where is explained by two things point of application and line of action how much means the magnitude okay the magnitude now I said force how much is the force and where is force acting okay these are the two characteristics of a vector quantity okay because let me you see when I say let me say this is a body okay it is a ball okay or it is a big stone big stone or a rock you know whatever now if I say a force is acting on it I will show it with the help of an arrow right I will say for example I will say like this now you see this force has acted in left to right direction okay it is it has acted in left to right direction now line of action is the line joining the uh, the the head and the tail of the vector okay like this this is the line of action of this okay okay this is the line of action of this vector 
now you can see you see where is this force acting it's it, is it acting here is it acting here is it acting here you can say no no it's acting exactly at this point okay now because we know the exact point okay point of application this point where the force is exactly at acting this is known as point of application now the line of action okay it says us the direct direction okay this is the line of action right all this line it is the line of action now we can see how much force is acting okay how much so for example we can say 100 kilonewton this 100 kilonewton is the magnitude right now because the force you can see the force have exactly the same parameter parameters as the vector quantity because vector is something which have a direction point of application okay or line of action and the magnitude similarly the force have the same characteristics so we can say force is a vector okay now we know if the force is the vector we have to add it using the vector laws okay we cannot add it just simply like 10 kilonewton force plus 10 kilonewton force is equal to 20 kilonewton force okay no we cannot do that we have to add using the vector addition which we will be looking uh, in the future lectures don't worry about that anyways i just wanted to say why force is a vector quantity you know because it has the same character characteristics as a vector so it can be perfectly represented with the help of a vector quantity okay okay let's move on now magnitude direction and point of application of vectors or force okay now i have already discussed this let me say this is a body and a force is acting on this let me say in this direction for example now the line of action of this force is what it is here right right it is the line of action of this force now there are a lot of points on this right everywhere and here is a point too now this is the point of application okay this is the point of application and this all of this line all of this line what is it it is the line of action okay and the line of action it says the direction okay now if we say it is 100 kilonewton so this 100 kilonewton will say as the magnitude so i hope you understand everything if you have any question or any doubt you can ask me in the comments see you in the next class thank you